See this? This is a salt-based water softener and this is a water conditioner. You can't tell the difference but your incoming hard water can, as they treat hard water differently. Many say water conditioners aren't real softeners. So what's the truth about this? We'll find out in this latest video. Let's get right into it. First, let's address the elephant in the room. Water conditioners. What are they? Don't confuse them with hair conditioners. They use template-assisted crystallization or TAC for short. They don't remove hardness minerals from water entirely. Instead, they convert them into a crystallized form. Once crystals, hardness minerals can't stick to surfaces and can't form scales. Water still tastes the same. Nutrients are preserved and no salt used. Everyone's happy. Water conditioners are a significant improvement to softening alternatives like magnetic water softeners. They're great for tenants and apartment dwellers and are easier to install. But they only prevent scale. And for the pals who've suffered hard water menace, they know scales are simply one among the many problems. Soaps don't lather, residue on showers and tubs, spotty dishes and glasses, weird food and water taste and whatnot. Here's where our hero water softeners comes into play. They use ion exchange to attract positively charged hardness ions and exchange them with sodium ions. They can also remove up to 1 ppm of iron and nitrates too. Basically any mineral which is positively charged. They're 100% proven to remove all water hardness from the root. Install it once and enjoy soft water for years to come. But they're tricky to install. Requires plumbing changes so tenants can't use them. Also, you need to set their region timings and incur additional costs of maintenance. Did I mention that water softeners don't come below $15? Now, there are portable softeners for RV and apartment use so you can always opt for them after consulting with your local plumber. There are of course other differences. Water conditioners often come with whole house filters so they both purify and soften the water. They aren't affected by chlorine, but chlorine can damage water softeners. Then there's a salt problem. Water softeners add sodium to water which isn't too much to cause concern but if you're on a low sodium diet due to high blood pressure or other complication, you may want to avoid softeners or opt for in reverse osmosis add-on. Water conditioners don't add anything to water. They're environment friendly as there's no backwash disposal problem. But, water conditioners are only good for low to medium hardness up to 120 ppm on average. Beyond that, softeners are our only solution. So here's the takeaway. If you've low to medium hardness and are only to looking to reduce as scales and pipes and fixtures go for water conditioners aqua salt free softeners. But if you've high water hardness and want a permanent solution for bathing, laundry and kitchen, go for water softeners. And for such informative content, subscribe to Aqua Professor. Cheers!